But the most important thing is that the, the neighbor leaders should know that Nigerians are standing with them. Well, but the only mistake that the neighbor is going to make tomorrow, maybe by accepting a minimum wage that will be like 70,000 naira, 80,000 naira, because believe me, inflation is still going to rise. Dollar, we are not praying for our economy to go down, but dollar is still going to rise above 1,500. So if neighbor agree, a minimum wage that is not above 100,000 naira, I don't think um, it's worth the struggle that people are struggling. I think every minimum wage that they're supposed to bring should be above just 100,000 naira. I believe any minimum wage above 100,000 naira is reasonable at least. So that um, a civil servant can even eat well, you know, go to work without fear. As I was saying yesterday, a lot of civil servants in Nigeria, even to afford a lot of line is a problem. Unless you have other activities doing, you have businesses doing. But if you want to dedicate to your job, every day you go to your job, you dedicate in providing good, you know, services where you are working, especially if you are a teacher, you want to serve your students well, you want to do everything well. For you to be able to survive with the minimum wage Nigeria is paying is difficult. Most of, let me say, to build house now, you will spend up to 20 to 30 million naira. So if they are paying you 60,000 or 50,000, how can you build land? How can you build house? To even afford land, some part of, I don't really know, depends on where you come from. Some places now, one lot of land is about 5 million, 10 million naira. So if Nigerian Labour Congress did not agree amount higher than 100,000, it is not going to be favorable to us. It's not going to be favorable to the masses. So I think if you want to die, you die once. If you want to fight, you fight for once. I believe that is what the neighbor must do. They must make sure that the agreement they are going to reach with the federal government should be an agreement that from now till like next two years, nobody will be talking about minimum wage again. So let the agreement be above 100,000, 150,000. Yes, people will be okay. Imagine if they employ you to start teaching in primary school before, if you are you have NCE, if they employ you, they will start paying you 38,000, 40,000. How can you survive with such amount? How can you survive with such amount, 25, uh, 35,000, 38,000, 40,000? And it's not even teachers. You know, when I'm talking about teachers, I still have a little hope. But come to talk about military. A soldier cannot go out to do business. A policeman hardly do business. That is why policemen extort money from people on the street. If you see Nigerian policemen begging money on the street, it's not their fault. It is the issue of the minimum wage. So that is why everyone must stand with neighbor. If you see, you know, how Nigerian police, anytime I meet Nigerian police on the road, I, they don't need to beg me money first before I will give them money. And I don't give them money because I want to bribe them. Maybe, or maybe I don't have the particulars of my motto, or I don't have the particulars of my bike. I used to give them money because anytime I come across policemen on the street, one thing that comes to my mind is how much are, are these people receiving? Some of the policemen are receiving 45,000, 50,000, 60,000. They have families. So these people can't survive without bribe. So these are the negative effect of a minimum wage that is not suitable, that is not a living wage. Because immediately police is not receiving money that he can use to feed his family. The next alternative of that police is to make sure he has stored money from people. You have paper, you don't have paper of your vehicle, police don't want to see it. All they want is for you to give them bribe. I am telling you it's not the police fault. Okay, come to talk of military. You can see that military, those people who are fighting Boko Haram, who are in the bush doing all sort of things, you know that some military, as deadly as Boko Haram is, as deadly as Fulani Hesmen are, there are some military who are still receiving 60,000, 50,000, carrying gun fighting insurgents. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. So these are the reasons why I am supporting the move of the Nigerian Labour Congress. This is not political. This has nothing to do with partisan politics. It is the duty of every Nigerian to stand behind them. Because the, the minimum wage, either you are working or you are not working, it will affect you directly. It, if it doesn't affect you directly, it will affect you indirectly. Because when a soldier, you see, the reason why Nigerian soldiers, they are always angry. Nigerian soldiers are always angry, and people don't know the reason why Nigerian soldiers are always angry. If you see soldiers who have money, they, they are very cool, they are very cool. They don't talk much because they have money. If you see soldier provoking, it's because his family is giving him headache. 
His family is giving him problem. He's thinking about the school fees of his family. He's carrying gun, walking on the street. That is why if you match soldier, soldier will deal with you. It's not because the soldier is very wicked. It's not because the soldier is very bad. No, it's because these people don't have money. See, money can give you different kind of satisfaction. Money can give you different kind of mentality. Money can change your character. Money can change so many things. If they can re increase the salary of soldiers, for example, to 200,000, I will tell you that before you will see soldiers beating people anyhow, it will be very difficult. Sometimes what soldiers are doing is transfer of aggression. They will transfer that aggression because they are not paying them. They will transfer that aggression to people on the street. Police will transfer the aggression that the government is not paying him well. He will transfer the aggression to the masses. They will st start extorting. Sometimes some police, you know, they will be involved in criminal activities. They will go and steal. It's not their fault. And let me be plain with you, it's not their fault. It is because these people need money. So that is why when I'm seeing Tinumbu, you know, trying to trying to say that the 60,000 era minimum wage is enough. Can you pay your SA? A politician can never pay his SA 60,000. Nobody will be an SA, special advisor to a politician, and not receive above 150,000. So what is the problem with the with the government paying above 150,000 or paying above 100,000? So this issue of minimum wage is a, is a case that the neighbor must fight once and for all. Mr. Victor, good morning. Welcome. So this issue of a, of a minimum wage is an issue that the neighbor must fight once and for all. Once and for all. Because if we do not fight it, it's going to affect us negatively. Now, let's come to think of it. Every month, a senator is going home with almost 19 million naira. Every month, a senator is going home with 19 million naira. So, if a senator can go home with 19 million naira every month, what is the problem with the minimum wage? And I hear some people saying that, oh, what a Jero, what a Jero is trying to demand is, uh, is unrealistic. That the national minimum wage of that amount is unrealistic. Unrealistic based on what? Why is, is it unrealistic? It's not realistic that um, if you are paying, if they are paying uh, workers, let me say 200,000, is that what is unrealistic? The money that a politician used to work in a day? No, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. The neighbor is going to fight this once and for all. Uh, Mr. Kano, good morning. Um, Mr. Odu said, uh, they seem to have signed an agreement with the Secretary to the Government of Liberation. Yes, that is the agreement I was reading before you come. Yeah, the agreement they signed today. I've read it before, let me see explain it. The labor rich agreement with the federal government. Tinumbu promised that he is going to pay the minimum wage that is higher than 60,000 naira that the neighbor have agreed. But Tinumbu did not call the specific amount he's going to pay. So because of that, neighbor said, we are not ending the strike. That is what the neighbor said. We are not ending this right because the government did not give a specific amount, but they just tell the neighbor, we have agreed and the strike will pay higher higher amount more than 60,000 naira so neighbor as usual told them that we don't have the power to end the strike now tomorrow morning that is this morning when day breaks we are going to address our organs let them agree if they agree with what your people are saying it's okay then we know what to do then the third agreement they have is that every day in this week they will be having meeting every day to arrive at specific um specific uh, agreement so this is just the agreement they have reached they did not reach agreement that neighbor have conducted the strike so neighbor did not conduct the strike so the agreement you, the federal government is trying to be corny the federal government is trying to play game the game the federal government is trying to play in the sense that they just call neighbor and tell neighbor um end the strike uh, we are going to pay you higher amount that you want, we are going to pay you higher amount. Then the neighbor was asking them, how much are you going to pay? Be specified so that we are, we are going, so that we can communicate with our people. They said, um, it's not what we can specify at once. We'll be having meetings every day in this week. So that was the reason why neighbor did not end the strike. Nobody is benefiting that Nigeria is on strike. So it's, it's not uh, favoring anyone, shutting down anywhere, but it is necessary to shut it down because this minimum wage is more important than every other activities for now.